Now, like we mentioned before, any brush can be an extractor brush. If you go into your standard brush, for example, and you hit G, it'll let you extract alphas. So now we have a standard brush, we extracted an alpha, and now our standard brush has that alpha loaded. Of course, when the standard brush has this alpha loaded, it's gonna treat it very differently than what the extractor brush is because the extractor brush has different brush settings. Of course, my standard brush is gonna treat that alpha a lot different. Uh, one brush that's pretty close, if I hit the comma key and I go into my brush tab, and I go over here to, say like stitch or tracks, probably both of these are work good, work good, but we'll go ahead and go into our stitch brush. So with this stitch brush, we have an alpha already preloaded, and if I just take this, it's gonna drag that alpha on our mesh, well, it's gonna roll that alpha, I should say, on our mesh, and we get this result. So if I hit G, and we grab these, and then I start using that stitch brush, it's actually gonna work fairly similar to the extractor brush. In fact, if you want to compare these two brushes, you can always do a test. So now we have the stitch brush loaded. I'm going to hold down Control alt tap the stitch brush. In the upper left-hand corner, you can see press any key combination. I'm going to say Alt-Z. And then for the extractor brush, which is right here, I'm going to hold down Control alt and tap it. I'll make that Alt-X. So now I can hop between these two brushes very quickly. Alt-X, Alt-T, Alt-X, Alt-T, or Alt-X, Alt-Z, Alt-X, Alt-Z. And as I'm going through those, you can see we're switching brushes, and so now I can go in here to say underneath the brush menu, which we have docked over here to the left, we can go into curve, see if anything's changed there. You can see this, if we go into edit curve, you're gonna see this is slightly different, but probably not enough to make a huge amount of different difference. Under, under depth, looks pretty similar. Under samples, you can see stitch has fast samples on, we have a fast sample radius. And if you ever want to see what these things are, you just hover over them and it's like, use fast samples, hold down control, that'll give you even more information. It's kind of built-in help menu in ZBrush. And this is just a surface evaluation. You see the extractor brush has that turned off. We go down here to modifiers. You'll see constant tilt is turned off in extractor. Not sure that necessarily makes a tremendous amount of difference. Uh, under tablet pressure, you're gonna see Extractor has its own basic settings, and Stitch uses uh, global settings. So you go in here under Preferences, Tablet. I think that's where the global settings are, but uh, I think those will be okay. And then another place to check is under, underneath Stroke, and this is actually really important. You're going to see the extractor brush, the lazy radius is turned down. So when we were grabbing that uh, with G, there wasn't a big string behind it. Uh, when we grabbed it with the uh, stitch brush, the lazy mouse was actually up to 30, so it was a little bit uh, longer. And then the lazy smooth is also set to 4 on the stitch brush to kind of smooth your stroke out even more. And then under modifiers, you're going to see both of these have roll turned on. And that's really, I mean, all the other settings, they might make a slight bit of difference. Roll is the big one you want to watch out for. So for example, if we have the standard brush, we don't have roll turned on, and we have that alpha. If we turn roll on, now it's going to roll that alpha. So now the standard brush behaves a lot more like the extractor brush.